Hello, welcome to Lifeline. It's so exciting to have you here with us today. I'm so happy and thank you for tuning in today. In life, we generally respond to what we hear. Sometimes our situations make us feel uh, a certain way about ourselves. Again, some, some people speak good or negative words into our lives that tend to shape the way we think and imagine. Uh, Joyce Mayer is a woman I love so much. She said, the battlefield is in the mind. Most times when you're spoken over, you respond to it unknowingly, unknowingly. There was this story that inspired me this week. But before I go there, I'd like to uh, show us the scripture, the book of um, Proverbs chapter 18 verse 21. The Bible says, life and death, 21a, life and death is in the power of the tongue. That's one scripture that, 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 that captivates my thinking. I'm like, whatever I say about my life is powerful. Whatever people say, if I respond to it and accept it, can, can damage me completely. There was a man called Thomas Edison. You might know who that is. Um, he was uh, a man that was spoken over. His teachers wrote him a letter once and said, give this to your mom. No one should open it. Just give it to your mom to read. And when he got home, he gave it to his mom. And his mom read this letter with so much tears in her, her eyes. She looked at him and said, Thomas, uh, from now henceforth, I will homeschool you. You don't have to go back to school. The, the teachers are not able to accommodate you. Uh, you're clever, you're smart, so I'll homeschool you. And Thomas took it for what she said. And at the end of the day, he became one of the greatest inventors in human history. I'll say something to you. You would be wondering, why, how is this uh, a positive or a negative thing that was said about his life? Now, many years later, Thomas went uh, to the closet in his home and was checking out for some things and he found the letter there and when he read through the letter he discovered that what was written was not what his mom said his mom said he was clever he was great he'll be homeschooled because he's too smart but what the letter said was he was a child that was confused he was a dull child and cannot cope in school Thomas in tears was shocked wow my mom didn't actually tell me this but my mom encouraged me the mom spoke life the mom knew the power of the tongue, so she spoke life. If you're a mother listening to me or anyone listening to me just now, you must speak life to your children. You must change situations with your mouth. There's power in your tongue. Another story that shocked me so much was in 2007, I was listening to uh, Dr. Miles Moreau in um, Ota, Nigeria, and he gave this testimony of a teacher that called him a monkey. The teacher said that he was a monkey, that he was a good for nothing, he was not smart enough in school. And it hurt him so much that when he got home, he told his mom. He said, Mom, I've been called a monkey, I'm not smart enough, I can't be in school. But the mom said to him, go to the book of Ephesians, chapter 3, verse 20. And what does that scripture say? Unto him who is able to do, exceeding, abundantly, far above all, you can ask, think, or imagine, unto him be glory. Guess how that scripture is relevant to him? He said, the God that created you will change you. The God that created you has created you to be perfect. They may say today that you are dull. They may say today you're a monkey. But tomorrow, you'll be a rising star. You'll be a shining star. And those words came to be. Miles Moreau died a great author, a great man of God, a world changer, a kingdom giant. What have they said about you? How are you responding to what people say about you? Again, I, I thought of a scripture that I said I will share. Colossians chapter 4, verse 6. Your words must be full of grace and salt. When you are speaking into people's life, do you speak grace? Is, is your word salt? Does it preserve? Salt preserves. Does it preserve? Does it change people's life? Do you meet people in a state that is bad and leave them there? Or your words encourage and empower them? Please mind what you say this week. Take this as a watchword. What do you say to people? What do you say to your children? If they are reacting in a certain way or they are saying they are doing things that are contrary to what you want to see, speak over their life. Speak over their destiny. Speak life to them. Speak wisdom to them. If a child is unintelligent in school and the school has declared that it's unintelligent, what are you as a parent saying? What are you as a mother saying? The two mothers we, we saw in this story, 
are speaking life, they spoke life, they changed the situation. If you're a parent and your child is responding negatively, speak life to them. Speak what the word says. The man of God, the man of God I love so much, he said, when you hear the word of God, keep speaking it, don't stop talking it until you see a manifestation. What you see is what you see. What you believe is what you receive. The Lord bless you today and make his face to shine upon you. I speak life over you wherever you are and I decree God's goodness over your life where they have spoken strange things over you. I reverse them in the name of Jesus and wherever you have said bad things, strange, bad and negative things over your life, I turn them to positive in the name of Jesus. Uh, delay is not denial. My Father and the Lord always says it. Delay is not denial. You may not see what you're looking for, but it will come. Just stay trusting God. The Lord bless you. Make his face to shine upon you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.